I always love crimped hair because it always makes me feel like I'm that girl from Girl vs. Monster when she gets possessed by the monster. Hello everyone, it's Mimi DeLongpre and welcome back to another video. Happy New Year! Happy 2023! I am so excited to get this year started with you guys and also I just want to take a second to say thank you. As of late, we just hit 10,000 subscribers on my channel and I can't believe that even happened. Like, it's so insane. It's my first platform to hit 10,000 of anything. Um, well, that's not true. I've hit over 10,000 likes. Well, like over 10,000 followers on anything. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much for your support, for being here, and for wanting to watch me play with makeup. For today, as you guys saw from the description, we are going to be dipping into Nikki Tutorials' brand, Nimya. Nimya was launched like a month, two months ago. I'm not really sure, but we are going to be dipping into it right now. So let's get started. All right. So from the collection, I actually bought three things um, to show off to you guys. And that is the Nimya Face Base is what I'm going to call it. I know she says it's like it's the where it starts cream, but like she said it could be a moisturizer. She said it could be a primer. So we're going to use it as a primer today. We'll get to this in a second. And then we also have the Nimya Gloss in... You didn't hear this from me. And we also, of course, as you guys just saw, we have the Nimya Face Palette. Now, if there's one thing I'm going to say about the collection right off the bat, she is a more, you know, skin-based, like, more, like, I want to say more on the simple side than what we've usually seen from influencer brands. You know, when you look at stuff like Jeffree Star's brand or... Manny MUA's brand or Nikita Dragon's brand, their brands seem to typically go like big, crazy, bold in your face, like high concept. And Nikki decided to keep it a little bit more simple, which is something I really, really respect, being that she took the more unconventional route. Now, instantly starting off with all of this stuff, the packaging is gorge. I, let me tell you, this packaging, she feels heavy. She feels like she's made out of glass, even though I know it's like hard plastic. I say you don't. I feel like no. It's no. It's hard plastic. It it does not feel like glass. If it was glass, it would hurt more. But <laughs> this definitely feels like really nicely made. Again, it's a little bit more on the simpler side, as you guys can see from all of these packagings, which is something I'm gonna touch on a little bit more when we get into the face stuff. Simple with this, which I feel like is kind of outside of Nikki's like area, but still. So we're gonna instantly start off with priming the face. We have the Nimya Where It All Starts Cream, which again, she said it could be a moisturizer, a primer. I know she's probably just trying to market it as like an everything cream because not everyone does heavy makeup. So this is what the inside looks like. Whew, um, I don't know if I like this. I don't, I feel like it's a smell I'm not used to, which is why I'm like, why does it smell like that? So I have uh, the face base on my finger. I'm just gonna go ahead and like rub it together and then just apply it to the face. Again, I think it smells a little weird. It smells a little weird. That's what it's reminding me of. It reminds me of how human hair smells when you're getting it in a wig, which there's a part of me that like doesn't really mind that smell. There's other part of me that's like, mm, it kind of smells a little funky. It smells, it smells, a, it smells a little funky. That little part is glowing. Good lord. That caused a lot of glow and shine on the face. Okay, I was not expecting that. She feels moisturized though, which is good. It's a thick, I don't like the smell. <laughs> I, was, I was debating it over and over in my head. I don't like the smell. Um, I would be using it again though. Again, the packaging for it, the fact that my face does, it fully feels like a layer on my face, which for makeup would be lovely. Don't really see this as a moisturizer though i do see it more so as like a nice primer since it does get the face really like my face is my face is really sticky with the face being sticky and primed i'm gonna put on the face base now because that's not what this is for um and i'll get back to you guys when it's time to do the eyes all right everyone so the base is on uh just to give you guys a quick recap of some of the things i used we have our LA Girl Pro Concealer for the bearded areas, Lancome Powder, Translucent, Pretty Fresh, ColourPop. We have our Juvia's Place Stick Foundation, which is like the always, always. Kimchi Bronzer in uh, I Went to Maui and the Kimchi Concealer in, I believe it's medium tan, yep. All right, 
all of that is on brows of course you guys know I always go in with my Anastasia not Anastasia Anastasia dip brow and now it's time to finally move on to Nimia stuff all right so first things first I'm gonna go in with my P Louise eye base I freaking love this eye base ever since Miss Nikki Toots herself vouch for this eye base I've bought it um and I've loved it ever since it's a super super strong eye base it's really really pigmented so a little will go a long way um I go in with like kind of this rounder brush by a company that probably won't exist this time next year <laughs> so it doesn't even matter if I promote them or not I feel like the beauty world is just like crumbling right now influencers died like the influencer that we knew like a Nikki Toots or a Jeffrey or a Manny or a James like they all just disappeared they, they their videos just don't hit like they used to and I'm I'm here to bring back the influencer I really want like my influencer fantasy can we make it happen like I want my influencer fantasy all right going in with the Nimi palette I always go one eye first over the other so here we have our Nimia palette. Again, she's very simple. She's orange. I kind of love it against the camera. Um, this is the inside of our Nimia palette. I don't know what happened during shipping, but a little bit did smudge around. The but as you guys saw, that is the palette. Um, all of these shades are really, really gorgeous, actually. There is 15 shades in this palette. We have we have nine mattes and six shimmer shades in this palette. As you guys can see, um, I do think Mr. and Mrs. Tutorial's Disco Stick are going to be my favorite shimmers out of all of them. I do think that Mr. and Mrs. Tutorial's and Disco Stick are more up my alley, whereas some of the shimmers I do worry about are Supreme Queen, Level Up, and Final Boss. I never really gravitate towards the red shimmer shades now blue shimmer shades are kind of the exception and sometimes supreme queen like those type of greens will be up my alley i can already tell that some of these shades are not gonna match my skin tone at all bad beach um and swish swish unless i'm doing some form of really really natural makeup or pastel -y makeup they're just not gonna show up on my skin tone and i know that for a fact they're going to utilize the more so blue and darker browns of this palette just so I can really show you guys the gorgeousness of this palette. I don't know how well they're going to mesh together the brown and the blue, but we'll see. Hello everybody! Alright, I brought you guys a little bit closer so you guys could see the eye makeup in action um, and in lifetime. Well, not really in lifetime, but you know what I mean. So the whole look I'm going to go for for today I am planning on doing kind of like a cut crease moment. Um, hopefully it comes out exactly how I want it to. The whole plan is to kind of do a blue cut crease and then have a kind of liner of that dark brown going into it. First things first, I'm going in with that royal family. She said it's going to go after not the British royal family, but the Netherlands royal family, which makes so much more sense. And I'm just going to really stamp that into the crease I'm trying to make here going in around like hook motion and then coming downward to make that little dip moment and then coming back up okay 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 <laughs> I haven't done a YouTube video video in so long you guys have only seen me in like shorts version so it's good to be back hi guys um okay so it is pigmented she has a lot of pigment the shade that you see in the pan that gorgeous dark blue shade is the look like the shadow that you see on the eye which is really it's kind of really reassuring that she made this with quality she said quality now the only issue is you do not have any other blue in this palette to blend into a lighter blue or to really like buff out those edges using another blue I'm someone that will always go in with multiple shadows to buff out my ends it's something that Nikki herself has told us about that's one thing that's really tripping me up about this palette is that she is someone that is known for going more bright going more colorful going more like exaggerated so it's kind of really like what was the shift change like what was going through her head when she said I'm going to make a eyeshadow palette that is really on the safer side like this is a palette that you could get 
with any of the higher end brands that do more so of like that natural look. They don't really go outside that comfort zone of browns, nudes, beiges, and they do like an occasional pop of color like Becca or um, like a Becca or an Anastasia where like Nikki, I was really expecting to go like brights. I'm not complaining about it though. Like you could obviously do a lot of looks with this palette, but this palette, I wouldn't say is, in the, is a beginner palette. This is not a palette for someone who's just getting into makeup and is trying to figure out their way around makeup. This is for someone that knows how to do makeup and knows what works for them. Because again, like I told you guys in the beginning, Bad Beach, which is basically like that off yo hi, it's my mouth. Oh. Bad Beach, which is this like yellowy shade, and Swish Swish, which is literally like a pastel y off white creme shade. Those two would not be for me. B for Basic, which is at the very end of the palette, as you guys can see, B for Basic is above that dark blue matte. I could make it work in a natural look. Like when I'm doing a natural look, I could easily have it as a blending shade, but in literally any other look, it would not, this would not work. All right, guys. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with Hearst Heaven, which is that very dark shade at the bottom. Um, all of the shades that kind of I'm using today are in the same little area, which I find interesting. But I'm gonna attempt to really just put this in that crease under the blue. It's just gonna add a little bit more dimension, make it seem a little bit darker. And in the pan, she's not black at all. She is a dark, dark brown shade. This is really terrifying, oh my god. I'm just trying to blend. Can I just please blend? Please. I feel like Leah Michelle, please. 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 Okay. How do we feel? I'm always a strong believer. If you make a mistake in makeup, your finger is your best friend. It does not matter. You think it's gonna mess up this area right here? If it does, girl, that's what you have a sponge for. I'm not someone that is really big on those like makeup sins that people used to talk about. They don't talk about it a lot anymore because the products and the cosmetics are just so much more amped up now where some of those sins can be forgiven because the products literally prevent those sins from happening. Like makeup separation or lifting from the skin. Not saying that some brands still don't have those sins, because trust me, they do, but still. So as you guys can see, it did kind of really add a nice little definition, like it did add some definition and it really did blend in with that blue. So I am really digging this right now. It's dark, it's smoky. Once again, grabbing some P. Louise base and just putting it on the hand and grabbing a flat brush. Um, okay, so just placing it on the hand and tapping it on the brush. I'm gonna go ever so delicately, ever so delicately into the crease of my eye and clean up. Okay, so I'm just gonna go in one more time and really blend out the top of this blue. Not saying that it's anything to do with the shadow, I just don't know how to do makeup apparently. So we're just buffing, buffing, buffing. Going in again with Hearst Heaven, I am going to pretty much make the eyeliner out of the shadow just to really display the shadow some more. If you look back at some of my looks, you'll notice that I do this a lot with eyeshadow. You know a shadow brand is good when you can make it. into a fully pigmented eyeliner. Okay, so I have the liner, which is just the eyeshadow on the face. I have the eyeshadow, the blue one on the face. It is time to go in with some glitter. Time to go with some glitter on the eyes. I'm gonna go in with Mr. and Mrs. Tutorials. It seems only appropriate since I did talk about it earlier. I'm gonna go in with that gorgeous little goldy shade, Mr. and Mrs. Tutorials right here, onto the empty, Oh. Y'all see that? Do y'all talk about a pigmented glitter? These type of glitters typically don't have the best pigment initially on impact on the eye. Wow. Typically, like I experience this a lot in shadows, like specifically Morphe shadows. Um, I experienced this a lot, even with the Beauty Bay collab that she had. 
um, where glitter shadows, you have to really build them. And it's not really something uncommon in the industry. In the makeup world, it takes a lot of tries with glitter eyeshadows and shimmer shadows with a lot of these brands. Um, so it's really impressive that Nimia was really able to perfect that on the first go. That is really gorge. Wow. Okay. Well, we have the top of the eye now on. Now it's time to just kind of mimic the top of the eye and go in with some of those shadows on the lower lash line. Kind of be like a second liner. Kind of gorge, kind of gorge. I'm gonna go in with my House Labs white eye pencil on the lower lash line. Okay, I'm kind of living for it. For the very final touch on the eyes, I'm just gonna go in with Disco Stick, which is the white glitter shade. And I'm just gonna put that on the inter eye. Just blending it in with that blue. Wow, I'm kind of, oh wow, that's, she's gorge. She's gorge. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, Nikki. Nikki, she come up for the wigs. Coming for the wigs. All right, so with that, all that done on the first eye, I'm gonna do the second eye off camera and we'll come back and do the lips together using the Nimia gloss. Okie dokie, and we are back. What do we think? She has her lashes on. She has everything on so far. Looks really sickening so far. I um, went ahead and did the rest of the eyes, as you can see, and I went ahead and did my cheeks. For today's cheeks, I used the Trixie Cosmetics Summer of Love Blush Palette. I used both the blush and the highlighter in this palette. I used, I used the blush Side Chick, and I used the highlighter After School. Girl, don't judge me for my nails. I know they crest. Finally, we're gonna go in with the Nimia Lip Gloss in You Didn't Hear From Me. So apparently this is supposed to be a full coverage gloss. I'm gonna stop talking just so I can apply it. Ooh, ooh, it's like a chocolate brown. Oh, hi, we're back. Sorry, I just had to magically uh, transform myself into full glam. Um, so here is the finished look, you guys. Here's the finished look. I think it's really, really cute. Um, it's definitely giving, like, I'm about to go out and perform on a stage right now, which is sadly not the case. Um, overall, I do think that the Nimia products did hold up really, really nicely. Behind the scenes, I've literally just been like, I've been eating, chilling, watching Drag Race. Today is Drag Race Friday, okay? So she's been a little busy watching a little Drag Race, but still. Um, I do think it came out really, really nice. I think that the makeup, specifically the eyes, look gorge. I honestly wasn't expecting a lot from this lip gloss. It seems to be like medium coverage to sheer coverage that you could build, um, which I'm not mad about for our more natural makeup girly. And yeah, you guys, so just to wrap up my final says on Nimia Beauty, so talking about the where it all starts cream i think it does a lovely job as a base for the face um i like my face matte and it has definitely kept the makeup on i don't look oily i don't look shiny anywhere i don't want to look shiny or oily and i have really really bad oily combination skin the only thing i do not like about this nimia where it all starts cream <laughs> the smell girl the smell is really intense i don't necessarily I don't necessarily like it, um, especially when I'm putting on my base and then my whole face smells like it for a little bit until it dissipates. Um, if it was unintentionally fragranced, then you know it is what it is, but if they did try to fragrance it, let's find a different fragrance for it. It's not, it's not really up my alley. It, in terms of the Nimia palette, I did enjoy it. It was a really cute palette. Um, for me, it's just a little bit just a little bit basic, if I dare say that. Um, I think the glitters are gorgeous. I think the blue pigment is gorgeous. Um, I was just really not expecting, a, you know, 10 shades of brown palette from Nikki Tutorials, being that she is one of the makeup girlies. Being that Nikki Tutorials is one of the more bright, colorful makeup makeup girlies, I would expect her to come out with a palette that is a little bit more on the brighter side. Um, that being said, I still think that it had an amazing formula. I think it had an amazing formula, amazing glitter, like look at that on the eyes. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, and in terms of the lip gloss, again, I like it. It really tends to like fade a little bit. Even now, I don't know if you guys can see on camera, the browniness of it is dissipating as I'm talking. 
and I haven't even had this on for more than 15 minutes. So it's definitely sheer to medium coverage, buildable, but it doesn't last long. Um, but yeah, that concludes our makeup review for today. Once again, I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you so much for 10,000 subscribers. Hopefully more members of the House of DeLong Prairie decide to subscribe soon. Fun fact about my channel, over 99% of the people that watch my channel are not subscribed. So I would really encourage you guys to subscribe, hit that like bell if you like this video, and be, uh, please be sure to follow me on all other forms of social media. You know, I am trying to hit 10,000 on TikTok, so it would be great if we could make that happen before the end of the month, perhaps. Just saying. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, House of the Long Prey, it's me, Me, The Long Prey, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye! This was supposed to be the original hair for this look today. But as you can tell, it does not fit all the way around my head. This wig isn't my wig. This wig was gifted to me by my sister, like way back when. Um, my real sister, not a drag sister. This was given to me by my real sister way back when, before she left Callie. Um, and it doesn't fit my head. And you guys wouldn't even be able to see the cool little things. You see that? my little palm trees but yeah this was the original hair for the wig I mean <laughs> hair for the wig this was supposed to be my original hair for the video but it does not fit on my head at all while these are up this wig is small on me so it's a bummer I wish it fit though it would have been cool I was supposed to be giving my um spice fantasy okay bye guys